Thanks so much for watching Fox Cruise Info. Disney Cruise Line has recently came out with updated Wi-Fi pricing and I have all the details. This new pricing is going to be based on the number of days that you were on board uh, instead of the amount of megabytes uh, that you would be using. So to get started, once you're aboard, all you have to do is connect to Disney Cruise Line's guest Wi-Fi, turn your phone on airplane mode, and then open your Navigator app. You will find the button that says Connect at Sea, and then all of these options uh, will appear for you to choose from. Uh, the first one is Stay Connected. Then there's Basic Surf and Premium Surf Packages. Now these prices are per device and it's per day for the entire length of your cruise. So I will get into detail about what each one covers and how much it is if you just want it for the day. The first package is the Stay Connected. This is the $10 per day per device. If you just want it for the day, uh, it's $12. This one's mostly to post texts and pictures if you just want to use Facebook or Twitter, but you're not going to be able to surf the internet, you can't check your email, and there's no video streaming on this one. This is not my favorite pick out of the three. The second is the basic surf package. Now this one is double the price. It's $20 per day for the length of the cruise or $24 for the day. But even though it's double the price, you get um, way more, I think, for your money. You can search the internet, you can check the news, the weather, any website you wanna go on, you can check your email, and you can still post your texts and pictures. The only thing you can't do is like long video streaming. And that brings us to the third package, which is the premium surf package, which is $30 per day for the cruise, or $36 uh, just for the day. You will get everything that's included in the Stay Connected and the basic package, uh, with the added bonuses of faster connection speed. Uh, if you need to do FaceTime or you need to do Zoom, uh, this would be the package for you, and it also does uh, music streaming. If you are wondering what ships have the new Wi-Fi pricing, uh, the first one to have gotten it was the Disney Magic. That was the first ship. Uh, it was then followed by the Disney Wish uh, on its maiden voyage in July. Uh, if you are sailing on one of the other ships, the Disney Fantasy, the Disney Dream, or the Disney Wonder, uh, we will have to check back. It says that they will have it, but at a later date. So please check if you're going on one of those cruises uh, with the cruise line to see if they've gotten it when you get on board. I feel that the new pricing is fantastic. Not having to sit and worry about how many megabytes or internet you've been using and how expensive this bill is going to be at the end of the cruise is fantastic. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and please let me know if you are. Please comment down below and let me know if you like the new pricing packages. Uh, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.